Hey guys, welcome back to Gabe's Garage. Some of you have asked me lately um, after my video of me lifting the GX470, uh, what parts, what brand have I used? And honestly, there is a lot of parts that when it comes to lifting this truck, so I can barely remember all of them. So I decided to pull this video together so you guys can um, have all the details of what I use and how much I pay to lift my GX470. So for the front coils, I use the uh, Dobinson C59-352 and these coils are 730 pounds per inch. Uh, so it all depends on how much weight you're trying to add to your truck. I know in the future I want to put a metal bumper and a winch and maybe skid plates. So I wanted something a little bit on the heavy side. So when I add it at that weight, the, the truck doesn't sag in the front. Uh, these coils, you can find them for about 245 um, per set. For the front struts, I use uh, the Dobinson's GS59-220. Those are extended length uh, struts. And those uh, struts will add you about one inch of extra lift, uh, no matter what coil you use. These uh, struts will cost you about 330 per set. For the rear coils, I use a C59-735V. Um, these coils are branded by Apache Off-Road, but they are made by Dobinsons. So these are a medium rate, it's something in between the heavy and the medium side. So if you try to add a little bit of weight on the back as well, maybe metal bumpers, this is a good choice for, uh, for the vehicle and you can find it for about $275 per set. For the rear shocks, I use the Dobinson's uh, GS59-575 and those are the rear long travel uh, shocks. They're gonna be good for uh, only if you're trying to get that long travel on the rear, like extended travel, uh, but you're gonna add some other stuff if you're trying to go that route and I'll tell you what I use. Uh, so those you can find it for about $330 per set. For my uh, suspension on the rear, I need the coil conversion kit. So I use the Apache Off-Road. It's like $90 uh, per the set. Um, I also use the extended bump stops from Apache Off-Road and you can find those for $70. Because I am adding this extended travel on the rear, I am using the uh, extended brake lines from Apache Off-Road and they are $75. You can choose between the company uh, pre building your front struts uh, with the coils all together, or you can build them yourself and it's a little bit cheaper, but you still have to buy your own strut mount. So, what I did, I decided to build it myself, and what I use is the KYB SM5724 strut mount kit. Uh, I bought it from Amazon and I believe they're like $36 uh, per side. Also, if you're trying to lift your truck like I did, more than two and a half inches of lift kit, uh, it's very recommended that you uh, change your control arms. So the control arms that I use is the uh, SPC 25480 and those I got them from Amazon for about $651 and, and it, they come in a pair. So I did buy all my kit from uh, Apache Off-Road and my total came out to be $1,424.94. Um, that is not including the uh, SPC control arms. I paid $650.49 for the control arms. I paid uh, $36 per strut mounts, it's two, two of them, so make the math. And I bought all of it together from Amazon, the control arms and the strut mount kits, and it was $773.06. So the total amount of uh, everything that I use to lift my GX470, it came to be um, $2,198.
that is not including uh, paying to whatever dealer or shop that you want to take your truck to do an alignment because once you finish with all this stuff, you will need an alignment. Now guys, that price that I tell you is only including parts. Uh, I did out myself, as you can tell my video, so I am not paying for labor. I have no clue how much they will charge you for labor for all this stuff if you're trying to pay for it. I'm imagining something between $700 and $1,500, something like that. Um, that's all I got for today. Uh, I hope this information was useful to you and uh you know stay tuned if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you around